trail of blood is seen along St. Paul Street in St. Catharines today after Niagara police say three men were stabbed during a chaotic street fight. Niagara police arrived on the main strip at around 2.30 in the morning, right between Queen and James Street, and initially arrested four people involved. This afternoon, authorities add the victims were released from hospital care, and two men are facing assault charges, one with a weapon. Within the taped off area, a cleaning crew is washing the sidewalk outside of this pizza pizza in front of a damaged door. Business owners tell me that this past summer has been relatively incident free here in the downtown core and believe last night was an isolated incident. I know in previous years there have been some shootings and stabbings and other major incidents, but this year has been super safe. All year we've had a great summer with no incidents down here. Um, and businesses are, are, you know, getting their feet again after obviously a uh, pandemic. Police say the victims and the men charged know each other, but wouldn't say how the fight happened. The incident occurred right when bars and nightclubs were shutting down for the evening. We had police presence outside and they walked the club all night with us. Um, it was a smooth night right until everybody left and the police were here until the last person walked out the doors. Level nightclub manager Gabri Kaur says given the time of year, everyone should expect to see a more transient downtown. Kids all just came back. School just started this week. There's a lot of different personalities and things that are, are back in town now. So you can expect things to happen, but I think it was very, very isolated. Police say 27-year-old Rohan Errol Chandler of St. Catharines was charged with three counts of assault with a weapon along with drug, drug charges. They also say 54-year-old Victor Clayton of Niagara-on-the-Lake was charged with assault as well. They say Chandler will be in Hamilton Court tomorrow and uh, Clayton was released uh, from custody and will have a future court date. Police are appealing to the public, uh, anyone with information or surveillance video to contact them. Adam.